Hi, Grips to Zandi from, from the Car Boutique here and a, another video review um, session testing on a brand new drying towel from the, car, uh, from the clay cloth company. And um, before I get into that, um, I'm just going to go over a few bits of top tips and advice to help you all make your um, purchasing decisions. Now, when it comes to microfibers, drying towels, etc., there's lots of facts and figures that are thrown around to try and sort of entice you into buying their product. Okay, and it is just facts and figures. To give you an example, GSM, 650, 1200, it's just a number. It's just a number at the end of the day. All GSM stands for is grams per square meter. So all they're doing is they're measuring out square meter material and weighing it. It's just a figure, it's a number. And um, yes, there is some positive associations with a higher GSM, for example, there's more material, more fiber, more absorbency, etc. Okay, but it doesn't make the drying towel um, or microfiber better. It's just a number. Um, what's the other one? The blend, the polyester polyamide mix of 70, 30, 80, 20. There's a sort of a, a marketing trend to say 70, 30 is the best, the best blend between 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. Arguably it, it is, okay, but I've used some cheap microfibers that confess to be 70, 30. I don't know if they are, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not taking it apart, that have been, you know, substandard. So again, it's just a number. Um, other things, I'm doing this off the cuff, I'm not going to edit this video, um, <clears throat> where it's manufactured, okay, a lot of marketing to say Korean, suggesting Korean microfibers and towels are the best, okay, and as opposed to Chinese manufacturers, but I know, um, I know a drying towel, you know, that, that the actual weave came from China, it was produced in Korea, does it make any better? No, it's just information. Um, so, what I'm trying to say is, you know, when I do all these reviews, I do give Okay, a lot of information. I'll talk about the GSM, I'll talk about the blend, the polyester polymer split. I may, if the information is available, tell you where it's from. Okay, but ultimately, I, I, I base my recommendation on three things. Okay, when you pick up uh, the actual feel of the product itself, does it feel safe? Does it feel well produced? Is the seam solid? Um, so that's the first one. The second one is the use. Does it perform as it should? Okay, if it says it can hold two kilograms of water, can it hold two kilograms of water? If it says you can do 50 cars without rinsing it out, can it be done? Okay, so that's the second step. Sort of third sort of step in my analysis is, is its durability. Okay, how does it wash? Does it bleed color? Does it lint, okay, on application, on first application? And then after you put it through a few washes, does it start falling apart? Are the fibers coming out? And all that kind of stuff. So the sort of top tip to this is, is yes, um, um, sellers are trying to um, entice us into buying their products, but ultimately, um, and I see the value of these, re these reviews that myself and all the groupsters do, okay, get out there, okay, have a feel for the product, use it, look at the durability, wash it, and what's it like afterwards? You could pay £15 for a fantastic drying towel at the packet that works brilliantly, but you put it through a wash and it falls apart, is that value for money? I would suggest not, okay, so, I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be putting this, this new drying towel, I'm not being unfair to Clay Cloth Company, but there's been quite a lot of hype about this drying towel, okay, um, and I'm going to put it through its paces, okay, so um, in the first comment underneath this post, there's going to be a video review to three towels that I've already done by the Clay Cloth Company, that was their big orange, their single side twisted loop, and their uh, big grey, okay, and um, on that video I talked about the difference between sort of, um, open-ended um, sort of weave and then closed loop and twisted loop, etc. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm quite excited about this one. I've got high hopes, okay? So the one I'm gonna be looking at is this brand new one, okay? Brand new one from the from the uh, Clay Cloth Cloth Company. So taking what I just said in mind, these are the stats, okay? So it is 60 by 90, okay? So it's a good size and I'll, Sort of, I'll use it and I'll get back to you on whether that's a good size or not. These are just the stats at the start to review. 1200 GSM, so 1200 grams of material per square meter. The blend is 70% poly uh, polyester, 30% polyamide. Okay, um, I think it's made in Korea. Okay, it's, it's Korean split microfiber twisted loop weave. Okay, so I'm making that assumption it's made in. In Korea. Um, it's edgeless, okay, um, it's limp free, it's machine washable at 40 degrees and all the good stuff as well. Um, stats say it can hold up to two litres, uh, sorry, two kilograms of water. Well, I'm going to test that, 
Okay, I'm going to see if that's true. It says that it can do a couple of cards without ringing out. I'm going to test that as well, and and I'm going to be I'm going to be putting it through its paces. I'm going to be analysing the 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 where it's stitched. I'm going to be looking at whether it's li is linting. Um, I've already put through one through a wash, so um, I'm going to be analysing the bleeding. Is it linting after first wash, um, and how easy it, it, it is it to use? Okay, so. Looking at the previous sort of uh, video I did, I, I made the suggestions that the higher GSM one are better for blur, sort of block method, the twisted loop are better for the, the drag method. But I'm going I'm to try out both. Okay, I'm going to try out both techniques and really give a, a thorough and honest analysis as to how good this drying towel is. In terms of price point, I was initially a bit surprised, I must admit, I thought this would be a bit more expensive, bearing in mind that that big grey is currently going for £16.99, I believe, and that's 820 GSM. This is more material, this is 1200 GSM, and it's got that extra bit of technology, that extra process of the twisted loop. Okay, so a bit of repetition from the previous video. Um, these ones here are sort of split fibre, okay, the actual fibres split at the end, make it grabby, good for taking stuff off, etc. This one is a twisted closed loop, so that means um, just similar to the, the shorter part um, sort of loop um, configuration, the actual loop goes back on itself. But because this is such a long part, the loop comes up and then it's twisted into a tight twisted configuration. Right, so that should give more absorbency, um, quicker drying, more efficient and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so. I'm not going to give any feedback at the moment, okay? Like I say, I have washed one of these, so I've already got that data in. I'm going to have a good analysis of the actual towel itself before I use it. I'm going to test these claims that it can hold two kilograms of water, um, do a couple of cars, okay? If it can do a couple of cars, I'm going to keep going and see at what point the saturation point breaks um, and it stops that ability to take the water off the car, all right? So I'm going to test it thoroughly um, and then I'm going to get back to you. So. Um, have a look at the link below to sort of um, update your, your, what I've said on these three uh, drying towels. Have a look at the testing, we're going to go out and uh, test and I'm going to come back into the laboratory and, um, and confirm these, um, these claims about how much water it can hold. And then the important bit really is to sort of watch through the video and see my analysis at the end because I'm going to be very, very honest, okay, um, and take it from there. So uh, best I crack on. Okay folks, so welcome to the Carpet Teaks complex and in-depth laboratory testing facilities. So we've got a couple of buckets. Okay, that one's full of water, all will become clear. And we got that one there and I'll put a little bit of a scaling bit down there. I've got five liters in there with little marks there. Okay, and we've got some um, high precision kitchen scale. So what I'm gonna be looking at is just um, sort of testing the um, sort of claims of this uh, this drying towel, and it says it can absorb up to two kilos of water. So uh, before I do the sort of the weighing check, I'm just gonna sort of see, okay, how much, okay, water this can absorb. Now I'm gonna dip it into this bucket, okay, and it's got five liters of water in it, and I'm just gonna let it drip because it says it can hold two kilograms. So I'm not just gonna dip it in while it's still dropping and then take a, a reading of how much water it's absorbed. Um, I'm gonna let it sort of get to the point whereby it's not dripping off, okay, and we'll see how much water it can absorb. So it's dry. I don't know if you can see. But that's sitting on five litres of water, so I'm going to put the <coughs> drying towel in. Let it totally absorb as much water. Okay, I'm going to let it all give a little, a little bit of a squish. I'm doing this one handed, which is quite tricky. It's still dripping off. Still dripping off. Like I said, there's no point in me just taking a reading while it's still dripping out because it's it's how much it can physically absorb. So I'm just give it a bit of a, a squish. This is high precision sort of uh, laboratory work we're doing here, folks. Okay. That's still dripping a little bit. Doing this all live so there's no cheating.
Right, so that's pretty much stopped. I'm just going to put that in that one there. And we're going to go down. And that is sitting just below three litres. So it's half emptied this, okay. It's sitting on, on two and a half litres. So there was five litres of water in there. It's quite happily contained two and a half litres of water, which is good. So now we're going to go on to the test okay, to see um, that weight claim, it can hold two kilograms of water. So test uh, number two coming up shortly. Hi folks, okay, so we know it can hold um, well over two liters of water, we just did that check, and now we're gonna use these high precision kitchen scales to test the claim that can hold two kilograms of water. So I'm lucky enough to have two of these brand new towels, so I'm gonna put it on the scales. Okay, I'm then going to, what they call tear it, so I've zeroed it. Okay, so when I take this off, it is showing minus 648. So we know the towel weighs 648. And now when I put the wet towel on, um, and the towel will actually weigh 648, that'll neutralize it, put it to zero. So anything above zero is the, the water. So we're looking at 2000 okay grams and above to confirm the claim that this new drying towel can hold okay two kilograms plus of water so there's the one we looked at earlier okay so i'm gonna get out of the bucket okay it's not dripping okay see no drips i'm going to put it in the scales and well there you go okay 2082 grams okay so that's 2.082 kilograms so there's no misinformation, no um, inaccuracies in the claims. All right, we've already seen how much physical water, okay, it can absorb. And there you go. That's that towel holding well over two kilograms of water. So test number two complete. I can edit it, so if you won't be laugh, I'll just edit it out. Hold on, hold on. So before we dry a car, we've got to wash it. So cue the music. So as you can see behind me, the car is now nice and clean. Okay, so now we're gonna test this uh, new drying towel from the clay cloth company to see how many times it can dry this car. So the claim is two, okay, but let's see how far we can take this. So uh, let's cue the music in a slower time warp this time.
So that's the drying test done and that uh, clearly shows um, three very effective drying uh, processes with out wringing the towel at once. Now the only thing that I would not sort of go any further than this is it's not so much the towel's ability to absorb more water and it has it just gets a bit heavy okay after the sort of the, the third wash okay but you can see very very effective drying towel and tried the block method and the drag meth method both equally as effective I'd probably suggest a drag method with this okay but I think you could probably get four or five washes sorry dries out of this but the drying towel does get heavy and heavy and it, it, it uh, sort of impinges on your ability to manipulate the towel to where you want. So CCC say two washes, I say three, potentially more. And if you've got mis big muscles, five, six, who knows? Hi, it's Andy from the Cabo Tig. I'm gonna come inside just to do this sort of wrap up uh, to this review off the, I'm reading off the phone, this is a mouthful. Mammoth Twist 1200 GSM, edgeless microfiber, twisted loop drying towel 60 centimeters by 90 centimeters no less okay get rid of the phone now so um a comprehensive test um, and like i said at the start of this review lots of facts and figures etc you don't really know how good a drying towel is until you've sort of washed it used it washed again um, and take it from there so my sort of test areas were split into three we looked at the physical feel of it okay how it feels right from the start the actual usage of it, which I suppose is is, is just as important, okay, um, ultimately how it's washed and its longevity, etc. So the first thing, this is the wet one, okay, because the other one's on the drying line. And before you use any drying towel, I'd probably give it a wash, okay. So um, in terms of its size, I'll sort of get back to you on that. The perfect size really is 60 by 90. Um, I've seen some whopping huge drying towels and you just lose control over them. This is really, really manageable um, and you can split it in half if you're doing smaller areas. I think that's really as big as you need it, really. Um, I could do the entire bonnet just by sort of doing a twisting, pulling action. Okay, it works well. So the feel of it, um, like I said in previous videos, twisted loop drying towels have got a different feel for them. They don't seem um, or don't feel as soft physically, okay, but um, the build quality is, is really, really good. And the testing, um, these are super safe to use. I had no issues on the TT at all. Now, um, one of the main sort of selling points of this is it's sort of seamless or edgeless um, construction. So having a good look at it, it's quite clever what they've done. I think what they've done is they had a big bit, okay, they folded it in half and then they've stitched down the sides, okay. But what they've done is they've put, curled them in and stitched from the inside. So there's no, there's no stitch line to, set, to see. And also because it's going in, right over the side you're getting the actual twisted loop case okay, so there's no physical sort of edge or stitch line to cause any scratches or damages so it's very very cleverly made in terms of its um sort of description as lint free did wash it okay there was um, i didn't see any bleeding out of the washing machine but i wasn't sitting there for an hour and a half okay but the color doesn't seem to be any different but i would recommend washing dark colors together and all that good stuff um but the um there's no lint coming off it after it washed, after it was washed for the pre-use. Um, I didn't see any of these fibers coming off in the drying process. And I did three, three dries as you see. Okay, and I'm pulling at it now. So um, this is good quality. Okay, who um, I'm not sure where they where, where they got it made. Okay, but whoever's done it has done a really, really nice job. There's a lot of care and attention to this. Um, and I've got total confidence, like all the other ones I've been using. Um, you're gonna get years out of this. And give it a shake and uh, hang it up so the first impression is really really good okay and the, the sort of consistency of the pile um, is, is good throughout as well so really really good so and onto the operation then um, the um, description says it can do two cars um, without ringing out I did three um, at that point this and this is straight up from the car that this is after three washes I'm ringing that there's no water coming out of it okay you are good, arguably could keep going, but I think the limiting factor isn't the absorbency of this, okay, which as we've seen is two kilograms. Um, it's your ability to sort of still use it. And after two cars, fair play to Clay, the Clay, um, Clay Clark Company, they've got it on the money really. As I was approaching the end of the third one, it was getting a bit heavy and hard to manage. So I totally agree with you on that one. Two cars, really, really good. Um, 
Um, going um, the only sort of limitation as it gets heavier, okay, is when you go down the side, you just got to keep a good grip of it because it is getting progressively heavier. Just patting it down was really, really good. So the first time I dried a car, which is on average what you're using this for, absolutely brilliant. Okay, second car, it's getting a bit more weight, and then when I did it the third time, it was getting a bit heavier, and that's why I sort of stopped at that point. Okay, so really, really good. So <clears throat> In terms of sort of um, the justification for yeah, um, the, in relation to the description, two kilo two kilograms of water it can help. We saw that happy days. Does it warrant needing to be one thousand two hundred gsm? Um, I think it does. Okay, because um, I've used a lot of drying towels. This is the fastest drying towel I've used. I've used um, a variety from a lot of companies. It's faster than the other ones, in my opinion, from the clay cloth company. So, um, and, uh, and that's because of its higher GSM. Okay, there's more, there's more fabric there to absorb more water. It's quicker, it's more efficient. Um, I never uh, uh, at any point felt any friction. Okay, so it gave me real good confidence um, on that. And ultimately it's a quick, it's quick. So if you're, I don't know, in the trade and you're doing multiple cars, this is really, really good. Okay, it's super, super quick. Now, if you're, if you don't like the sort of the heavier towels, and this is quite heavy, and um, you can always revert to this one. Okay, so this one is, is what I call the matador one. This one is the sort of single-sided twisted loop. It's a lot um, lower GSM with a sort of a, a sort of grid on the back, etc. And this one you can throw around your car like a matador. Okay, yeah, it's going to do one car um, um, job done. This one here, okay, you can still throw it around initially, but like I said, it's going to get progressively heavier and heavier. And like I said, a limiting factor is your ability to use it. All right, so. Sort of summarise, okay, this is the latest technology, it's the twisted loop. This definitely has the benefit of the plushness of a high GSM um, drying towel, um, but it's got the, the speed, okay, of a twisted loop one. So my overall verdict, um, like I said, it's the quickest drying towel I've used without doubt. Do I prefer it to the other two? Um, my personal preference is yes, it's the best one, the best one, the quickest one I've used. Um, if I'm just going to be doing um, a smaller car um, and, and, and sort of give it a quick whip, whip round, I've got a couple of these, as you know, I'm just going to still use these, all right, but sort of for a, a large vehicle, perhaps, um, I'll use these as a combination of two. Will I still be using my big fluffy white and grey ones? Absolutely, okay, they're all good, they're all good, and I suppose the beauty of the um, clay cloth company offering a variety, including the big orange as well, is you can sort of get a selection and just, you know, change things around, make your drying process less boring, okay? But I think um, definitely the fastest one I've ever used. Does it, warrant, does it warrant the price? Okay, which I believe was 17.99, 100%. And like I said, I, this has got a feel and performance of more expensive drying towels. I've used some into the 20s. This is quicker, it's considerably better made. Um, and like I say, a pound cheaper for that one, you've got much higher GSM. Okay, you've got a twisted loop as well, it's only a pound more. So, spot on an improvement um, every time the clay cloth um, sort of develop their drying towels they do take it to a next level okay it's a constant evolution in terms of build quality and performance as well okay which is really really exciting hence why i sort of stick to these guys drying towels um, i want to get a couple more i like to have three or four drying towels um, in my arsenal be careful what i said there all right so fantastic um, if you are going to order, okay, they do have a limited amount, okay, but do, uh, do remember to use your um, Car Boutique discount code. The guys at CCC have very uh, kindly given us, and you'll get this even cheaper, okay, so really, really good. There's no lies whatsoever on the description. It does exactly, and in fact, it does in excess of what it's declared to do, right? Right on the money price point wise, and you are paying for quality and you're, you're paying for performance, so. Um, all the hype is fully justified. Um, thank you very much for allowing me to test these. Brilliant product. Um, would I recommend people getting them 100%? You will not be disappointed. So um, go and get yourself some, as they say. Take care.